In today's video, I will try to show you how you can connect your Sony ZV-1 camera via an HDMI cable to your laptop, desktop or to a viewing device uh, and then you can use this camera as your uh, camera for recording the YouTube videos uh, which actually give you unlimited battery life uh, as well as uh, you can use it for viewing the pictures on any large screen. I'm showing this for Sony ZV-1 but it is uh, this video is as good for any other uh, Sony camera or any other camera which also has an HDMI port. So to talk about uh, the Sony ZV-1 camera and its connectors, uh, you would see that this has got three different connection options available. Uh, it has a mic input option, it has a USB or micro USB uh, port at, as well as it has a micro HDMI port available. And this micro HDMI port is what we are going to be using uh, to connect our Sony ZV-1 uh, to the uh, laptop, desktop or maybe to a TV as well. But what you need, uh, of course, is an HDMI cable. Since we have a micro HDMI port in the Sony ZV-1, we need a cable which is a micro HDMI to HDMI cable so that you can take the output from your camera and then you can put this input into the device where you want to capture the, uh, the output from there here or, or want to view it. So this can be plugged into your uh, TV, uh, LED, LCD, what, whatever you have, and you can view the contents over there. There are a couple of settings that needs to be done, which I will be sharing in the video as well. Uh, but that's that's what uh, you need. But if you want to use it with your desktop, desktop or laptops, then you need one more accessory. What you essentially need is this video capture device. Now this video capture device comes in many different shape and form and of uh, many different prices. But the one that you see over here is a very, very cheap version and it has it is doing its job very well. I have been using this combo for last uh, six to eight months to record all my videos on YouTube. And also I'm, I have been using it for my zoom calls. Uh, so the quality that comes from the camera is is of course astonishing because the because I'm using the Sony ZV-1 as my camera input device. Now there is a bit of a limitation of this video capture that it outputs the, uh, the picture only in 1080p. So that's going to be a limitation that uh, while uh, Sony ZV-1 supports 4K output, uh, you're going to be limited by this, but this is just uh, shy of 1000 rupees uh, in Indian uh, INR and I think in, in US dollars, it's going to be approximately around 15 USD or something. So it's quite cheap, but if you want to go for a high-end 4K recording on your desktop, then of course you can use a um, costlier uh, video capture card. So what you need to do uh, to be able to make this setup work really is you need to take the Sony ZV-1, uh, open the micro HDMI to HDMI port, and then you need to plug in this micro HDMI port uh, over here. And uh, once you have done that, you need to take the second end and then you need to plug in, plug it in your video capture card. So you see that there is a HDMI input over here. This is the HDMI output and you need to just plug in over here. And that's all the setting that you need to do. Now, of course, there's a USB over here, USB 3.0, as you can see. And this is what you need to plug in in your desktop or laptop. And then you need to just configure it in your uh, OBS and make it work. So let me just plug it in the desktop and laptop and then I'll show you what settings you need to do in the um, Sony ZV-1 camera. So I've plugged in the HDMI video capture device on a port in my desktop and we're now going to switch on our camera and uh, we'll see what option does it give. So the output you can see on the monitor of the screen as well. And uh, what I'll show you now is how you can configure it in OBS and then you can use that OBS for, uh, for, for viewing what is coming on this particular camera on your screen and make the video recordings as well. So let me just switch over there. And as you can see, this is the OBS camera screen. What you need to do is you need to go to sources, right? You need to pick up any of the scenes, go to sources and click on plus sign. And then you need to add a video capture device. When you add a video capture device, you can create a new video capture device. Let me name it video capture device new. I'll do an okay. And it, then it asks me to select a device. And once you have plugged in your USB-based video capture device, you will see an option which says USB video. 
and uh, this USB video is what is giving you the view as you can see uh, this is the output that is coming right now directly from my camera so this is what camera is showing and you can see that none of the grid marks etc is coming so it is a clean HDMI output that you can see what you need to do for the settings now so I'll switch on to the camera part and then we will uh, go back uh, again to the uh, to, to OBS uh, settings in camera you need to click on menu then you need to go to setup 3 so this is important right so you need to uh, if you if you go to scroll down various options you need to go to setup 3 because this is where you will find the HDMI settings option you need to scroll down to HDMI settings and you will see that you have an option to pick up resolution there are three, three types of resolutions that are available and uh, you can pick any one of them I usually uh, try to keep it at uh, 2160p slash 1080p this works absolutely fine for me the next setting that you need to that you, that you see is the HDMI info display and uh, if you do it as off that is where it does not show any setting if you do it as on then it uh, it will remove the display from here because then it has moved on uh, the display to your uh, screen which is the screen on the um, or the, the screen the obvious screen that you are capturing for example you can see it over here uh, you can see uh, if I try to control the camera from uh from the buttons on the camera then you see all the inputs over here and if i for example i've done the hdmi display info as on so it is showing uh the the menu setting if i do it as off it is showing this let me just go again and i put it as on and you will see that when i come to the capturing of screen for example if i remove all of the settings you can see what you used to see on the monitor of the uh, screen you can see everything on this camera with all of these uh, these pointers or these information available as well that's usually not something that we would want when we are capturing from the camera but if you are using it for monitoring uh, purposes then this may be useful for you if you are trying to monitor it from uh, some uh, some distance so you can use this again uh, go to the setup 3 info display put it as off if you want clean HDMI and this is the best thing that uh, this works for all day long you don't have to worry about it and uh, the, the battery doesn't drain in that uh, that uh, that case then you have the 4k output select there are two options one is HDMI only and the other is memory card plus HDMI if you want to be able to record uh, the video on your uh, Sony ZV-1 or on the camera along with giving the HDMI output then you need to select the first op option but if you only want to do an HDMI only option when you are outputting 4k movies but uh, you don't want to uh, record that then you can only do HDMI option as well uh, there are other options available under HDMI settings as well for example the TC output as well as uh, the control for HDMI this is used if you want to control uh, your HDMI from an external device then you need to use this as you need to put this as on so you can control from a TV uh, uh, using the buttons if it, if it has got the ability to control your HDMI devices but this is very very simple and uh, as I said right what you what I usually do is I plug it uh, plug this uh, Sony ZV-1 and I also plug in the um, the the micro HDMI cable, sorry, the micro USB cable, and I put this to a plug uh, to a charging source, and uh, this does not drain out any battery. I've kept this as this, and I've worked this for many many hours in the day. Uh, the battery remains intact, and it works beautifully. So this is how you can set up your Sony ZV-1 or any other camera using the micro HDMI cable. I've put the description for all the products, uh, the Sony ZV-1 camera, the micro HDMI cable, as well as the video capture card in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put that in the comment section below. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, have a great day and enjoy your life.